Hey everybody, it's Chris Lode here. In the screencast, I'm going to show you how to animate on Keynote using the iPad. So I'm going to fire up Keynote on my iPad and create a presentation. Tap on there. I'm going to go with a basic white, so we'll tap on that. And this, uh, I want to get rid of the text, so I tap once on the text and then delete, once on the text and hit delete. Now I want to add some image on there. So I've already downloaded the picture, a basic picture of a bee. So I tap on the plus sign in the top right, and there's my photos, and there's the bee down there, and I'm just going to add that bee onto my slide. Now, on well, one of the neat things on um, pages and Keynote, um, is that you you see how there's that background on the B? I can get rid of that background and the way to do that is to you select the image and then you go up to the paintbrush and I wanted the paintbrush allows me to edit and tap on the paintbrush then on image and right in the middle there's this thing called instant alpha that is going to allow me to get rid of my background make my image what's called transparent so I just drag my finger over where the background is you can see it has now shown blue what has uh, been deleted and then if I take my B and I move it up there you can see I now have no background on my B. Okay so we've got my my image now I want to do a little animation of the B. There's a few ways you can do this. One way is that you can actually just create a path for that character to follow and the easiest way to do that is to tap on the image or select um, select your photo and you can see the last option there is animate and now I come to this uh, animation page and I can build in build out or add an action I'm going to select add an action and the very first option there's all kinds of fun options and actually if you show this to the kids you need to give them time to play around with those just to test them out but I'm going to go create a path now, it brings me back to the larger version of the slide. You can see there's a red dot in the middle and that red box. That means I've selected this image and the red dot is going to carve out the path for my bee. And so I'm just dragging my bee around and it's gonna buzz around. And I wish I had a flower there because my bee is going to sit on a flower and I can actually do that later. So there's my animation for the bee. I Tap done, and done up in the top right corner. So when I play my slide, there goes my B. All right, so I wanna add a flower. So there are, are there's lots of clip art on Keynote. I'm gonna tap on the plus sign, and you can see at the very top above where it says photo or video, there's a bunch of icons, uh, the third one, square and circle is different shapes and you can see there's lots of categories of shapes I'm gonna go nature and here we go let's find a good flower that this bee can land on I guess we'll go with that set of flowers I'm gonna make it a bit larger of course because my bee is pretty large and it's okay if my image goes off the end so now I'm going to tap on my play button oops and let's see where the B ends up. Oh, it's a little bit behind. So I'm going to move my picture down or my flower down a little bit. Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. There we go. And let's try that out again. Here we go. Let's have the B land on the flower. Oh, just a bit taller. There we go. That should do it. So there's one way you can animate. Um, an image or anything that is on your screen and you can do multiple options so if I had another um, say I, maybe I'm gonna have my my flowers are going to uh, shake when the bee lands on it so I can also so I select my flower I click on animate I'm gonna again add an action and let me see here let's go jiggle let's see so it does a little jiggle all right, I hit done, so hit done, and hit play, and let's see, so my bee flies, and it lands, and then the flower shakes. So I had to tap on 
the screen in order for my flower to do the little wiggle. I want that to happen automatically. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to the three dots of the ellipsis button at the top and go down to transitions and builds. Now we come to this um, page here and at the very, uh, in between the triangle and the done button is the hamburger stack. I'm gonna tap on that. And you can see that I've got my build order here. The first one is the flight of the bee and the second one is the jiggle of the flowers. Now down at the very bottom, I have selected the, uh, the jiggle of the, of the bouquet of flowers. It'll ask me at the bottom, how do I wanna start this build? I wanna do it right automatically after build one. So I select that. I can put a delay in there of, a, you know, half a second and then tap done at the top. So then when I play, my flowers should jiggle automatically approximately half a second after the B stops. There we go. So you can play around with these. It takes a lot of trial and error to get things in the right position and also the timing of things, but it's quite um, empowering to be able to create an animation with lots of things happening on your screen all at once. So that's the simple animation for images on a keynote slide.